Good evening, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Catholic Mass at St. Henry Catholic Church in Gresham, Oregon, on this, the 29th Sunday of Ordinary Time. My name is Father Charles Sock. The reader is Phyllis. The musicians, Joe and Barb, and our videographer and greeter, Jim and Peggy. Our song will reflect our continued need to dampen the wildfires in Oregon. Let us join in song. in favor of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Rain down your love on your people. And so we ask the Lord to bless all that is important to us, especially may we be open to the promptings of the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the
ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our wills to yours and serve your majesty and sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord to his anointed Cyrus, whose right hand I grasp, subduing nations before him and making kings run in his service, opening doors before him and leaving the gates unbarred. For the sake of Jacob, my servant of Israel, my chosen one, I have called you by your name giving you a title, though you knew me not. I am the Lord, and there is no other. There is no God besides me. It is I who arm you, though you know me not, so that toward the rising and setting of the sun, people may know that there is none besides me. I am the Lord. There is no other. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be to God.
the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy, to the Church of the Thessalonians, and God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, grace to you and peace. We give thanks to God always for all of you, remembering you in our prayers, unceasingly calling to mind your work of faith and labor of love and endurance and hope of our Lord Jesus Christ before our God and Father, knowing, brothers and sisters loved by God, how you were chosen. For our gospel did not come to you in word alone, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit with much conviction. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. chapter of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The Pharisees went off and plotted how they might entrap Jesus in speech. They sent their disciples to him with the Herodians saying, Teacher, we know that you are a truthful man and that you teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. And you are not concerned with anyone's opinion, for you do not regard a person's status. Tell us then, what is your opinion? Is it lawful to pay the taxes to Caesar or not? Knowing their malice, Jesus said, Why are you testing me, you hypocrites? Show me the coin that pays the tax. Then they handed him the Roman coin. He said to them, Whose image is this, and whose inscription? They replied, Caesar's. At that he said to them, Then repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. The Gospel of the Lord. Whenever we read or listen to the Word of God, we need to place ourselves into the text. Yes, it was written 2,000 years ago. But it's still written for us today. So picture, if you will, the letter of St. Paul that we just heard. He and two other saints are writing to the church of the saints in St. Helen Parish. He says, in God, the Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ, Grace to you and peace. We give thanks to God always for all of you. For those that are in Troutdale, those who are in Wood Village, 
and rock wood. Those who are as far south as Orient and Damascus and Boring. All of those as far east as Corbett and Bridal Veil. All of those to our west, including Portland. We remember you in our prayers, unceasingly calling to mind your work of faith and your labor of love and endurance in hope of our Lord Jesus Christ. That should make us feel pretty proud that the saints have not forgotten us. Fifty six years ago there was a new church built and it stood on the legacy of those who first built the church right here a wood frame structure in 1913 I was recently given this by Cecilia Haupt's family one of her sons now deceased carved wood burn the church before it was replaced by the new one. These are the saints who built this, who have gone before us, on whose shoulders we stand. And now we're working on another phase. Good stewardship demands that we have all of our priorities in place. Liturgy, catechesis, service ministries, reaching out to the poor, peace and justice. And yes, facilities end up being kind of important. So we're working to accomplish that. And then we take a look at the gospel today. They were trying to trap Jesus, the ones he called hypocrites. A hypocrite is translated from the Greek as one who acts on a stage. Actors, not the real thing. They tried to trap him by saying, so here's a coin of the realm. It has the image of Caesar on it. He makes himself out to be divine. This is a blown up image of what that coin would have looked like, a piece of silver. Whose image is on there? Jesus asked the hypocrites. Caesar's. Well then give to Caesar what is Caesar's, but give to God what is God's. We're finding that out in a big way when we broke ground and have worked many, many months in preparation to finally see the results of a big hole in the ground with footings and eventually the Madonna Center. But we've had to work in both worlds, Caesar's world and God's world. God's world is filled with prayer and hope and promise. Caesar's world is, is made up of architects, city permits and codes, construction workers, lots of details. So we need to work in both worlds and all will be well. As long as we remember, we're doing it for the honor and glory of God, not for our own self-aggrandizement. We are constantly told, listen to the promptings of the Holy Spirit. For the unforgivable sin is the one that will not listen to the Holy Spirit, which leads us to salvation. Being open especially for forgiveness and to turn to the Lord for mercy. Today we reflect on not only the 56 years of our new church that we've been enjoying all these years, but also the 107th year of the founding of our parish. 
by Father Henry Brunegel back in 1913. Some of you were here then. <laughs> we continue to celebrate the sacramental life that has, has been so vital here for years before us. So many have connected with the sacraments that were celebrated here for all those years. But we want to concentrate on what belongs to God and have all the right reasons for why we continue to be a loving parish that outreaches, that worships together. We want to always remember the things that we do to serve and to obey God, it's an investment. An investment to bless us in this life and ultimately to receive the full rewards in the future. And we will be the legacy and the shoulders that the next generation will stand upon. What belongs to God? Well, everything. But we're here to make certain that we recognize the pin that was given to everyone who got involved in our project called the Capital Campaign. Do you remember the little cross so many received? A quotation from Isaiah chapter 43, verse 1. I have called you by name, and you are mine. I have called you by name, God says, and you are mine. And how do we respond? We are your people. We are God's people. And we say amen to that, and we stay faithful and energetic to continue to show and tell the very word and the face of God. Let us stand and recite our Apostles' Creed together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. As a community called to love and to service, let us approach the Lord with confidence. For the church, that harmony, peace, and love will be the legacy we leave for future generations. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the men and women who govern, that they do so with compassion and concern for the least among us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For moms and pregnant women who do not have the support they need to flourish in life, may we offer our shoulders for them to lean on, our prayers to comfort them, and our wealth to improve their way in the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are lonely and those in poor health, physically, mentally, or emotionally, find comfort in God's holy presence in the midst of their anguish. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we who come here united in faith recognize Jesus in others, especially those who do not look or talk like us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our personal prayers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. 
God of wisdom, you guide us through difficulties and give us strength. Let your will be our delight and your laws live in our hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. This will become for us the bread of life. Through this mystery of water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself for our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. This will become our spiritual drink. Amen. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me of my sin. Sisters and brothers, we pray together that this, our sacrifice, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept our sacrifice to Him, for the greatest glory of His name, for our good and good of all children. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gathered them again to yourself, that a people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity, made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit, might to the praise of your manifold wisdom be manifest as the Church. And so in company with the choirs of angels we praise you, and with joy we acclaim. on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love. And when as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, 
which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. And so, having called us to your table, Lord, confirm us in unity, so that together with Francis our Pope, and Alexander and Peter our bishops, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and your entire people, as we walk your ways with faith and hope, we may strive to bring joy and trust into the world. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, with Henry and Cunegunda and all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us share a sign of peace. Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And upon you, Christ, be ye saved for eternal life. Through the blood of Christ, be ye saved.
Let us pray. Grant, O oh Lord, we pray that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. A couple of announcements. The first one is made to the general public, anybody who's viewing or who comes here to Mass at our Fireside Chapel. We ask that you try to get here as early as you can uh, for the masses that are full, especially at 11 o'clock and 1.30, we need to have folks come a little earlier rather than back up in the uh, outside. The U.S. Uh, bishops have designated October as Respect Life Month, so you will see in the bulletin this week in the pastor's column the summary of St. John Paul II's Evangelium Vitae, the Gospel of Life. Next week we will give Fratelli Tutti, which is the Pope Francis's uh, All Our Brothers and Sisters in the World encyclical. We have a trunk or treat on Friday, October 30. There's a lot of information in the bulletin. Uh, Trunk or treat as cars will be backed up with all kinds of goodies and we just need for you to come through the lighted pathway and trick or treat. <laughs> Call the office uh, concerning our faith formation, Holy Heroes and Saints Alive program. Please try to register by November 2nd. It's about coming dressed as your favorite saint. There will be prizes, games, music, and crafts. Once again, to sign up for Mass, any of our Masses during the week, Monday and Wednesdays are the best days, and Veronica will be on the phone to sign you up. That would be also for going to confession at 3 o'clock for communal penance service on Saturdays. And a reminder that we are a communal penance service, so you need to be here before 3 o'clock, and then we close the doors. Otherwise, uh, it gets a little complicated. So, aquí antes tres, here before three. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Amen.